Welcome to r slash am I the butthole, where OP has a super racist roommate. Am I the butthole for telling my roommate's girlfriend that she's not woke if she's wrong? I'm a 25-year-old woman with a 28-year-old husband. We're ethnically Chinese from a Southeast Asian country living overseas. We rent a house with my husband's college friend who moved his girlfriend, Anna, in during lockdown, and she's been with us ever since. It's worth noting that we did this with the landlord's permission and she pays her share of the bills. Those two are not Asians, which matters here. Anna was initially nice, but started acting very weird a month after she moved in. First, she told my husband and I that we can practice our real religion, which apparently is Buddhism. Not Christianity, even though my husband and I came from Christian families. She even bought incense, which gives me migraines, and a random Buddha statue. We politely explained to her that we're not Buddhists, but she continued to insist and promise that she didn't mind. Second, she told my husband and I that we can speak our real language because she overheard my significant other's family talking to us in a mix of English and Cantonese. I explained to her that I can't speak Cantonese, my husband can, even though I can understand it. She was, for some reason, really disappointed in me and said that I was throwing my heritage away. Plot twist, my own father is only comfortable speaking English. Third, she bought raw internal organs for my husband and I to cook, even though we don't eat those. I told her we don't eat those things, and again, she was disappointed. She told us she read that there were lots of nice recipes, and maybe we haven't found the right one to remind us of home. My husband told her he's never eaten food like this in his entire life, and I've never liked it. She was really upset, but she had to throw the food away since no one was going to eat it. Chinese New Year was when things got really weird. She started ordering decorations. I wouldn't mind, but she also ordered hell notes, the things you burn for deceased ancestors. I immediately told her to stop pasting them all over the walls because they were weirding me out. She ordered banners with my and my husband's name on it, or some bastardization of our legal English names. But they were written on white banners that are traditionally used for deceased people. I told her to please take them down. She got upset, again, but then ordered kabuki masks. I told her those masks weren't Chinese, and she just snapped. She started yelling at me that I should be helping her and not critiquing what she was doing. I told her, one, she never asked. Two, Chinese New Year's is not a big deal to me, so I wasn't planning on decorating, but if she had asked, I would have helped. Three, she never asked. I told her I don't understand her fixation with us. She said that she wanted to surprise me and my husband, that we've been so colonized that we've forgotten our roots, and that we should be embracing our culture. I told her it was a nice gesture, but she needs to stop forcing stereotypes down our throats. She could have just asked, and she's not being woke when she's getting everything wrong. She burst into tears and brought in her boyfriend. He understood where I was coming from, but thought that I could have been nicer. My husband stood by me, and now things have been tense. But I've been tolerating this for a while now, and it's getting on my nerves. <laughs> OP, what did I just read? This lady isn't woke, she's just straight up racist. Worse than racist, she's racist and dumb. <laughs> you can't just assume that every Asian person is Buddhist. Just like you can't assume that every white person is Christian. I mean, my wife is born and raised in China, and she's not Buddhist. I don't think anyone in her family is Buddhist either. And you can't say that she was colonized because she spent the first 20 years of her life growing up in China. God, and I... <laughs> And I can't believe that she bought you Japanese kabuki masks when you're Chinese. This is like coming up to a black guy in America and being like, It's okay if you practice your African religion around me. I don't mind. Dude, I'm Christian. And you go, Oh, trust me, I don't mind. Here. I bought you a Native American dream catcher to help you get in touch with your roots. I, <laughs> I honestly can't decide. Is this more racist or stupid? I think I'd have to say like maybe 80% stupid, 20% racist. I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Am I the butthole for taking my boys on a picnic after her sister lied about her child-free wedding? I'm a 32-year-old woman and I married Paul, who's 39, 14 months ago. Paul gave me two stepsons who I adore so much. They're 7 and 11 years old. 
My family is fine with Paul, but they aren't involved with the kids that much, though they treat them well. They just don't show them affection or love. I've stopped attending family gatherings because I've been told to not bring the boys with me, which is unacceptable to me and very disrespectful. My family tried to look for excuses to justify their behavior of trying to leave my boys out of family functions. But last month they invited us all to dinner and it went fine. Paul was shocked, but happy that my family finally worked out the issue and slowly started including the boys. Last week was my sister's wedding and she sent me an invitation. She told me they were having a small celebration with no kids, a child-free type of celebration. Once my brother confirmed that he was coming with his wife and leaving his kids home, I thought that I could go since the no kids rule was for the entire family. That is, until my cousin called me the night before the wedding. She's a relative of mine who doesn't know exactly what's going on with my family and my stepkids, but she's been good to Paul and the boys. She started talking about the wedding and she said that she'd be bringing her kids. I was confused. I asked about the no kids rule and she said that everyone was allowed to bring kids. I checked with my brother's wife and she said she was allowed to bring kids and had no idea why I asked. I confronted my sister. She said that she lied so I wouldn't bring the boys and that it was my mom's idea and they couldn't think of a better idea because they didn't want the boys there. I yelled at them both and said that I'm not coming if my boys aren't. On the day of the wedding, me, Paul, and my stepsons packed our bags and went on a picnic since the weather was nice and warm. The boys had a great time and Paul did as well. That evening, I got a ton of calls and nasty texts from mom, my dad, and my brother for not coming to support my sister and then I made a joke out of them and that the guests were looking for me and I let my sister down as her older sister. My sister was upset that I missed her wedding and called me awful for being inconsiderate of her feelings. To add, my boys are well behaved. Our oldest is incredibly responsible and helpful. Our youngest has already bonded with my cousin's son, who's nine. I've talked to Paul and he said it's up to me whether I still want to be in contact with my family, but he won't let the boys be treated like this anymore. I understand how he felt. I feel terrible too. I just couldn't imagine what Paul would have felt seeing others bring their kids except for us. Man, the hypocrisy coming out of these people in today's episode, man oh man. What your sister is saying, OP, is that you're expected to support her family, but she doesn't have to support your family. That is just complete and total BS. OP, I don't blame you. If I were in your shoes, I would not have gone to my sister's wedding either. OP, I'm giving you 0 out of 5 buttholes. I'm giving your sister and your mom 3.5 out of 5 buttholes. Am I the butthole for waking my girlfriend up with my morning routine? I'm a 21 year old guy and my girlfriend is 20. We've dated for over two years and lived together over one. My girlfriend and I both work full time. She's work from home right now and I work outside of the home. She works from 8 to 5 and I work from 5.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. The past few months we've had morning arguments because she says my routine wakes her up. I get up significantly earlier than she does, about three hours before she wakes up and she is not a morning person. Here's her issue. My dad works at the same place as me, so usually he'll text me in the morning to make sure I'm awake. He'll keep texting until I answer or eventually call. I keep my phone's volume all the way up so I can hear. Often, I don't answer the first time and by the second text my girlfriend wakes up. Then there are my alarms. I hit the snooze button a lot because I set them early so that when I wake up I know I have some time to sleep still. These usually wake her up too, it's just part of my routine. She's a very light sleeper and has trouble going to sleep when she's up. She gets so angry with me when this happens because she's always exhausted. She's in college too, so she's often up late doing homework despite having to get up and work the next day as well. We've tried a few solutions like her wearing headphones or an alarm clock that turns a light on and it still doesn't help either of us. She thinks that I'm the butthole because I won't just get up when my alarm goes off or my dad texts me. She says that would solve all our issues and that I'm the butthole for not doing the simple solution so she can get some sleep. I say she needs to learn to live with my routine. Am I the butthole here? OP, yes, definitely you are the butthole. Why is this so hard? When your alarm goes off, get up. Why do you need multiple alarms and your daddy calling you to make sure you get up on time? You're acting like a kid. OP, I'm giving you 2 out of 5 buttholes. Your girlfriend gets 0 out of 5 buttholes. Grow up already. Am I the butthole for not being nice to the people trying to force me to sell my home? A large company is trying to buy up all the houses in my area to build a luxury resort with a golf field, pool, and other things. 
a few days ago. I got a knock on my door and the lady at the door said she was offering to buy my home, willing to give me 5% over the market value. Their BS market value is less than what I paid for it. I politely said, no, I'm sorry, but I'm not at all interested in selling my house. Have a good day. She kept trying to get me to sell the house and I told her to have a good day. Three days later, she came back with a new offer, now 7.5% over market value. I said the same thing, please go away, I'm not interested. The next day, someone else called. I just hung up on them. All of my neighbors have been getting the same thing. Some are deciding to sell, but most are refusing. Later when I was outside, that same lady came over and said, Hello, good news, we have a better offer for you. 12% over market value, that's great, isn't it? Surely we can work something out. I then asked, do you have kids, a pet? She then responded, I have a son and two cats, why? I said, how much for your son? I'll give you $15,000 for him and 2k for both of your cats. Confused, she said, um, those aren't for sale. So I responded back, okay, douchebag, neither is my house. I hope you understand now and get the F off my property and never come back. You're not welcome here or anywhere in this neighborhood. She said, listen, I tried being nice to you. Your house will be sold and we'll try other legal means to get your house. I said, did you not understand what I just said? Get the F off my property, you ugly, disgusting B word. And she left. I'm scared this company is going to try to use eminent domain to force me to sell my house. Down in the comments, some people are saying that OP is the butthole because he unnecessarily was rude to that woman, but I completely disagree. Everyone has a right to not be harassed in their own home. OP was being polite, but they decided to keep harassing them, so they had it coming. Will I be the butthole if I sued my boyfriend's elderly mother and press charges against her? Okay, I know how this sounds, but please hear me out at least. I've been with my boyfriend for 11 years since I was 15. His mother has hated me since the first day she met me. She hated me due to my ethnicity. I'm Kosovan Albanian. She also hated me due to my career. I work as a model, and she decided that makes me an empty-headed, vain, shallow person. Then, when I told her I still planned to go to university alongside my career, she said that I was just doing it to impress my boyfriend. I've since graduated from university with a distinction, and her new reason to hate me is I try too hard. She also insisted that I cheated on him throughout our entire relationship, which is a ridiculous claim. I've never even kissed another man in my whole life. I have zero desire to cheat and I never will. Late last year, she attempted to void the insurance on my boyfriend's motorbikes. She tried to do this under my name, so hypothetically when he was arrested for riding with no insurance and called his insurance company, I'd get the blame. After this happened, my boyfriend and I agreed to cut her out, however, it hasn't stuck. She left my boyfriend alone and respected his wishes for no contact, but she continued to contact and harass me. This leads us to the last few weeks. My boyfriend works as a motorcycle test rider and he got in an awful motorbike crash while working. As such, I now need to care for him. I'm okay with that, and I'm focusing on seeing it as an opportunity for us to get closer. It's been nice, honestly. However, his mother has been awful to me. She's called me a litany of terms, like nasty Serbian half-breed. I'm not Serbian, and she's well aware that calling a Kosovan a Serb is offensive. I tried to block her, so she started making new iMessage accounts and began continually harassing me on those accounts. Then came Friday night. The police turned up on our door. I was pretty confused and I was told that they were there to do a welfare check because they'd received multiple claims of horrific abuse that I was apparently putting my boyfriend through. Obviously, they quickly discovered that he was fine, albeit grumpy, and they left. I know for a fact that this was his mother because some of the details the police mentioned made that obvious. I'm now at the point where I've realized that I literally cannot do this. I'm going to press charges against her for the insurance and harassment crimes. These are crimes in the UK, and I'm likely going to sue her for damages. For the sake of my mental health, I need to do this. I don't want to be a victim, and she has to be forced to stop. I've mentioned my intentions to her if she doesn't back off, and she pretty much mocked me saying that I won't do anything, but I absolutely will. I just feel like, morally, this may make me an awful person. She sucks, I know this. 
However, she's old and miserable enough as it is, and I feel like doing this may ruin whatever small amount of life she has left. I feel like I may be going too far. I really don't know though, and I genuinely cannot be objective here. Will I be the butthole here if I do this? So, OP, let me get this straight. Your boyfriend's mother tried to cancel his insurance when he works as a motorcycle test driver? A job that theoretically is super dangerous, and actually is dangerous because he was just in a huge wreck. Then, if she had succeeded, her own son would have been in a major medical accident and had no insurance to cover him. OP, your boyfriend's mother has far past the point of being annoying. Now, she's straight up dangerous. OP, I think you have a responsibility to both you and your boyfriend to put a stop to this however you can. If that means suing her into the ground, then sue her into the ground, because based on this story, she deserves it. That was our slash am I the butthole, and if you like this content, check out my podcast where I publish the exact same episodes. Also, hit that subscribe button because I put out new Reddit videos every single day.